Hello, this is Eric. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to do the uh, dual print head uh, calibration. Um, this is the test print, and uh, uh, also we call it uh, print head status. On the most right, there is some lines like this. To check if the print head uh, horizontally aligned, and this is the vertical calibration. You can find this tool on the print ASP calibration and head adjust vertical print head status. So, how do we uh, know if the print head? The two print head is aligned. To make it clear, uh, like this X and Y. Uh, the two print heads should be should be uh, aligned on the X and Y. So those lines is to see the x x the horizontal and those lines to see the vertical first of all let's see this uh, this color color lines should align like these two the, for example the blue one so align to the black lines like this. So and and this is the print head one and this is the print head two. Print head one, print head two, number two. And this this vertical print to check this place. And this If you, if you print this is the vertical print so this is the print head one uh, printed by the print head one uh, ignore the ignore the middle part just check this and this connection we can see the print head one is doing okay the two lines are connected but from the printer tool, we can see they are not connected correctly. See this? This. So how do we do the alignment for the physical to uh, make the two print head align? Let me move the print head out. There are four screws. One, two, three, four. And uh, according to this vertical print and this horizontal on the uh, print head status, we loosen these two screws. These two screws for pushing the print head after we adjust it by these two screws, these two are to lock the print head again. But actually, this one and this one is for adjusting the uh, print head uh, backward and forward. Because, uh, let me make it out. Um, oh, sorry. It cannot be seen in the video uh, a little, but actually, th these two long, long screws had not go into the display. 
but only this soft, these two soft uh, screws go into the display. If we move this screw uh, anti-clockwise, we we pull the printer out. If we screw this screw uh, clockwise, we push the printer in inner. After that, we lock the printhead again with these two long screws. That's how to uh, adjust the printhead. The printhead one, no need to move, only adjust the printhead two. And make sure those lines uh, align or to the black lines. <coughs> and after that, okay, let me lock the printhead. carriage back to the home position <coughs> and then we do another test print you can do the calibration here vertical calibration and the head status <coughs> Uh, still need some adjust on the print head. You see the lines a little up uh, comparing to this one. Already a, a little up there. But still not good. Uh, to save our time, I'm going to next step. Here, setting, calibration. Uh, next step, we do the both directions calibration. Click print. <coughs> okay. Uh, after it, the both direction print calibration, we find the most. Uh, strive on like this one you see this the middle part and the up and down part they are not aligned so we find one is the most aligned uh, for example like this one see and we need to see the this is the plus two and minus two so we need to minus six on the software one two three four five six okay apply and do another print <coughs> Now is uh, the best align on the zero, zero. La uh, on this last spring, the zero is not aligned, and after we change it, now it's, all, it's aligned on the zero. So this is the both direction calibrations. And next, we are going to do the base step. Click it. It printed four lines. Uh, they cross together on 
two lines and that they say so we are going to find the most rely on the zero as the uh, both direction calibration the zero uh, looks like it don't need to change the step calibration they're already on the zero the smallest line on the zero so we don't need to change the step line so this is the four calibrations vertical plane has status uh, both direction calibration step cal calibration and you can do this too print to left and print to right let's try it prints some bars on black and zero yellow yellow sorry um, and we need to find the most match uh, like this one see this the yellow and black are not aligned so we are going to find find the most match one like plus one the yellow and black they are uh, printed together so plus one plus one okay a lot apply uh, this one too <coughs> Okay, uh, the method is the same to find the best match on the zero and black one. They print together. Uh, let me see close. Uh, looks like the the plus one is the best. Okay, anyway, this is the four calibrations. Left to right and right to left. Uh, step, step, calibration, uh, both direction, calibration, and uh, uh, plane head, uh, vertical calibration, and the horizontal calibration on these parts. So, uh, for, I would like to say more about this step calibration. For example, if it is on the minus two or, or plus two, uh, you change the, change it on this for example we plus plus one plus one then it will become zero after that uh, oh no 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 uh, for example a minor two okay. uh, Let's see. Oh, sorry, I made a mistake. Uh, it should be here. Uh, okay, sorry, it looks like the software has some issues. Uh, basically, uh, for the step calibration, after you change this work, uh, change this value click the cal calculate then it will change this after that you press apply to send the setting then uh, click ok to uh, to exit the settings so that's all for the calibrations if you still have any questions please contact me thanks for watching bye